Oh, cricket. A black male. It was a male cricket? Mm -hmm, you can tell by their ridges. Well, actually, if you pull like the head off, like mm -hmm. the butt fall, and the gut follows, and then they're edible, raw so, or cooked. Kind of I just allow them to express himself. Um, it's kind of hard finding things in this area to enrich him. His thirst for knowledge about dinosaurs and different things in that area started at a pretty young age. I made like a little tiny Spinosaurus, which is actually larger than a T-Rex. He's, he's been in school for two years and he went from when he first started school reading at a right at second grade level and he's already at a like end of seventh grade level reading level. So. I read Harry Potter 1, 2, and 3. Plus, after I get done with uh, Ink Heart, I'll go to the next one by uh, Cornelia Funk or whatever it's called or whatever it is. Um, he basically taught himself to read, you know, by the age of three, dinosaurs, insects, he was just almost obsessed with them. The insides, the outsides, why a cricket, you know, would sing or, or you know, why the mosquitoes bite and, you know, just different things. And so just through reading, he's, he's helped himself basically find all that stuff out. Well, once I re tried to read myself to sleep, it didn't happen, did it? Mm -mm. Never works on me. Because actually some people think that people that are more smart actually don't have to have as much sleep.